What's up, Inaritax? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with another episode of Minecraft Makeover where I'm gonna make over one of the builds you guys sent me. If you play Minecraft Java Edition and wanna see me make over your build, then come join my Discord. The Discord has all the information you need to know to send me your build. But anyway, let's get into today's video. Okay, so I just loaded up this week's build submission, which was sent in by Sarah. Let's see what it looks like. Da, 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 da. <gasps> Wait, this is so cute. I don't wanna change this. How dare you make a beautiful build? Okay, but let's see. I love the flowers everywhere. It reminds me of a flower forest biome and that is one of my favorite biomes. We've got a cute path leading up to the front door. Let's take a look around the side because the path also goes this way. To like a little fenced in backyard area. <gasps> there's a campfire and there's cats. Hello. 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 I love this backyard swing. Can I sit on here with you? Ha <laughs> ha. Hello. This is a cute setup. I see that there's a back door, but I want to enter this build through the front. Ta da. Ooh, that's a fun floor. Oh, and it used pink carpet. Okay, so it looks like we walk into like a main hallway, kind of like a main entrance place. There's a spot on the right side and there's a spot on the left side. I also noticed that there are some ladders. So what's up here? What is this? We've got a bonus space upstairs. This build is so cute and cozy. Okay, okay, I just got the greatest idea. I'm gonna turn this build into a cat cafe, a super cozy cat cafe. This build is super cute and cozy and it has cats. So I feel like it was meant to be. We could have a whole kitchen area, a whole like cafe spot. We can have an area for all the cats to play. And since this build has a backyard, we can transform this into an outdoor seating area for guests. Take a good look at your build, Sarah, because I'm turning it into a cat cafe. The build is done. Da, 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 da. Look at it. Now for the outside of this build, I obviously planted a lot of purple and pink trees to kind of match the vibe that I was going for. And I also built a bunch of these cute little bushes. Probably also noticed that uh, the majority of all these flowers are either white or pink. Oh, wait, no. But uh, yeah, I tried to keep the pastel vibe through all the plants and stuff as well. That's why with the trees, the, the wood is originally spruce, but I selected the area and I changed it all to birch so it would match better. Now there is a secret little chest over here and that's because I did some fun things off camera. I added the chisel and bits mod and I made some custom cat furniture and cat toys. Before that though, let's walk around the property. So this is the front of the build. And in the back, I kind of replicated the same fencing of the original build, but I just changed the color. You'll notice that this build is pretty much the same exact shape and style as the original build, except I made it a bit taller and a bit longer, which you'll see in a second once we go inside. I mainly made it taller so I could fit in some paw print windows just because, you know, you have to have a paw print window. It's a heckin' cat cafe. You need the toe beans. So if you remember the original interior, it was basically framed out like this, except as you can tell now, uh, you, there's, there's way more, there's, there's a lot more space. <laughs> So basically, this is my plan. You walk in, on the right, this is going to be like the main cafe area. We'll have some tables and chairs and we could have a counter to purchase like snacks and stuff. Back here through these doors, this is going to be the kitchen where all of the food is made. Then over on the left, this is going to be where the cats play and like just where they're kind of hanging out and chilling. But this is like their indoor area. And then through this cat paw entrance, this is like a catio. If you don't know what a catio is, is it's basically like a screened in porch for cats. It's basically a really cool way for indoor cats to be able to explore outside without, you know, the dangers of the outside world. So obviously Minecraft doesn't really have like that kind of screen block, but instead I'm using glass to kind of give it the same feeling. 
And then as we go through the back door, this whole fenced in area will be for more tables and stuff for the customers to sit at. Now, if we go back inside, you may have noticed that the ladders are still here from the original build. And that's because I really liked the idea of this space above the whole cafe. And I was thinking that this could be the owner of the cafe's home. So we can make this like a baby apartment or something. Well, now that I've shown you everything, um, I want to start decorating. Why am I stuck in this door? Hello? Get Get out. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> I wanted to show you the cool things that I made with the chisel and bits mod. So I made different like little cat tower pieces that I can connect together to make a cool cat tree. I made some balls of yarn, some fish toys. We have some like hanging wall toys and I even made like a stool for the cafe. First of all, I want to grab a glass pane and a gate. That way we could have something like this to indicate that this is the cat section and this is the food section. So let's see, we can have have these pieces on the bottom and then we could put this one on top that has a cat toy hanging off of it. I also have a piece like this that connects to this piece that connects to this piece. Oh, you know what would be cool? If we created like a big shelf going along the top here. That looks cool. Now maybe we can add some platforms to the corners. So that way the cats can be on the bottom trees and they can like jump up there and then jump up there. We could even create some more platforms so they can climb around like this. Okay, well now that we've placed all of the cat tree structures around, I wanna show you what the toys look like. So first we have some yarn balls. We have a purple one. And of course I made a blue one. Then we have this fish toy. Look at it. Look at his little face. Oh, you know what I didn't make? I didn't make any cat beds. I have returned. And guess what? I didn't only make beds. I also made food bowls. Oh my God, look how small they are in my hand. Wait, wait, wait. Look at them, they're so tiny. Let's put a blue bed over here. Maybe a little gray bed in the corner. Then next to this bed, we can have some food bowls. And I made two sets. We have one set that is like white and pink and we have another one that is white and blue. We have all these cute things. And I just realized I did not make a litter box. There we go. I textured it a little bit. Now for the cafe side of the building, I want to put a counter right over here. And then we can just use some stairs to pretend we have registers. For the seating, since I have like some light blue accents throughout this white and pink building, I decided that I wanted to use some of these blue tables. Guys, look at this layout. I changed the way the tables go. I didn't know that these connected so I can actually have like a double table. I feel like we definitely need to have some coffee and tea and cakes on these tables. So we could put a sprinkle cake over here, regular Minecraft cake over here. Then we could have a strawberry cake and a banana cake. Now let's just add some coffee and tea cups. And then I want to use this empty space to display a menu. Something else I want to try was to see if I could hang this here. Oh, that's way too vibrant. Wait, wait, that's a bit better. You can see it but it's not like staring in your eyeballs, you know? You know what I just thought of? That would be really cute. Since there's nothing really in this hallway area, we could have some couches for guests to sit in. It could be like a little cozy section to have your cake in. Let's just grab some more of these blue tables and we can add some more coffee and cakes to them. Now for the cafe's kitchen, I wanna place a bunch of counters everywhere and we could even have a little island area like this. Now, normally when I place the kitchen items from the CIT texture pack that I use, I would have the invisible item frame texture turned on, but because I really like these pink item frames, I don't want to put that on. If I did, then uh, you wouldn't see the item frames and the wall would just look really empty to me. So some of these placed items in the kitchen might look a little funny because you'll be able to see the item frame, but hopefully it won't be that noticeable. So we can have two refrigerators. In the middle of the space, we have to have a sink. And I'm thinking that on either side, we could have some ovens. See, that's what I mean about the item frame. You can kind of see it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We see nothing, we ignore. Now, how weird will a microwave look? Oh, it's not that bad. You just see like a little ledge. And on this island, we could have some mixers with some cakes. This wall is so plain. We need another paw for it window. And you know what? We could even add some more fairy lights. Now that the kitchen is done, I wanna grab the items that I used over here. That way we can put them outside. So we have some smaller tables that seat four people and we have some larger tables that seat a lot more. Now, as you may have noticed, there are some posts sticking out of the ground now. And that's because you guessed it, I wanna add some more fairy lights. <gasps> Stop. 
I'm claiming this cafe as my home. It's so cute. Okay, well, the outside is done. The inside is done. The last thing that we need to do is decorate the upstairs area. Okay, so I was thinking that since this area is technically, I'm gonna say it's smaller than this side because of where the ladders are, we can make this like a baby kitchen. So we can just put some counters down. We obviously need a sink. We can put a fridge in the corner. And then on top of this counter, we could have a microwave. Across from this kitchen, we could just have some counters. And then for seating, we can use the baby stools that I made. Now let's just add a couple of plants. Maybe some paper towels. And we can add a bowl of apples. Now down here, we can add a bed with a pink sheet, some end tables, and of course some pink lamps. Then over on this side of the wall, we could have a couch. We could add some more plants. Maybe we could put a clock on the wall, a little coffee table, and then over here, we could add a TV. Well, now that everything is decorated, uh, we have to add some cats. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen all of my cat textures yet from my texture pack, but I guess you're about to find out what they all look like. I'm very excited. They're super cute. Okay, so let's spawn a cat on like every platform. So we could put one up here. <gasps> We got a black cat. What are we gonna get next? <gasps> a gray cat. Guys, this one is modeled after my cat Grayson. So that is Grayson, hello. Next we have a pink cat. Then we have another pink cat, okay. What's the next one gonna be? A purple cat. <gasps> we have the cow cat. Do you think we can put one on the bed? <gasps> we can! And it's the tan cat. Oh, that's adorable. We haven't gotten the brown one yet, and I love the brown one. Whoa, where did that white one come from? I may have spam clicked the spawn egg. <laughs> I spam clicked the spawn egg again by accident. Now there's babies. One more time. <gasps> the brown cat. Look at his little face. Look at his body. Look at his design. All right, guys. The cat cafe is officially done. So let's go on a tour of what everything looks like. On the left, we have so many cats on all their little cat trees and in their beds. Look at their little faces. Look at this little baby. Then over here, we have the cafe area where customers can order and get some cakes and coffees and teas. Back behind the counter, we have the kitchen where everything is made. Over here, we have a cute little lounge spot. In the back, we have this really adorable garden seating area. And then if we go upstairs, we have the cat cafe owner's like little apartment. So this is the kitchen area. We have some kitchen appliances and a place to sit over here. Then in the middle of this space, this is like our living room with our TV and our couch. And then all the way down this way, we have our bedroom. All right, guys. Well, now that the build is done, it's time to do a before and after. So here is the original build before, and here's the after. Let me know what you guys think about this build in the comment section below, but that's gonna be it for today's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye.